don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? Yes. Hey guys, we are back yet for another video. I wanted to dig deeper inside into this situation with Portia Williams, also known as Portia Gubadia, and Simon Gubadia. I did a video a few hours earlier that I had um, received notification that Simon is actually fighting for his U.S. citizenship, which I was stunned to find out. But I also learned because of his past and all of the things he had done in his past, he had been denied on several occasions. Now, I indicated in that video that he had been um, charged with bank fraud, credit card fraud, identity fraud, fake marriages, on top of multiple felonies, which I was stunned to even find this out. I also linked the documents so you guys can actually take a look at those documents at your leisure. Um, additionally, I reported that some of the information that he provided when he obtained a temporary visa had turned out to be fraudulent information. And then Simon had went back after Miriam Portia to basically let the court know that he was now married um, and that he wanted to move forward with the citizenship. But now I have learned additional information. And the additional information that I would um, want to touch on in this particular video is it is being reported that Simon Gubadia could most definitely um, and have a great possibility of being deported. Um, so he did petition for citizenship based on his marriage to Portia Williams, but it seems that the government can actually go back and access if his original green card was obtained legally. And as I stated in the last video, it is being reported that his green card was actually he got it fraudulently. That is what's being reported. So here is where we are. So we know that him and Portia got married. Um, and after doing research and looking into the situation with his citizenship, it looks like after him and Fallon went through a divorce, everything was kind of up in the air for him. And I always wondered how and why did him and Portia get married so fast? When I went back and did research on Simon, I found multiple videos where he stated that he was traumatized um, and basically emotionally destitute. And he stated that, you know, his relationship with Fallon was pretty much not so good. Um, and I was just wondering how could he be so traumatized and have went through as much as he had went through just to go and get married in under a year to somebody else. Um, I always felt like the marriage was rushed, but now as I look into his past and everything that is being stated that he done, or he did by the U.S. government, which obviously this is not alleged because this is information coming from the government. And what it is being stated is that it is a possibility that this man is going to be out of the United States. What is being reported is when you petition for citizenship, the government can actually go back and access if your green card was lawfully obtained. Now, if you guys recall in that previous video, they stated that he committed fraud. And one of the things that he did when he obtained his, I want to call it a temporary green card, was that he lied about his name and information. So, this is not looking good. This is not looking good at all. You know, we all are now seeing Portia Williams wanting to come back to Real Housewives of Atlanta. And it could be two things. Is it because she doesn't know what's going to happen to Simon? If you guys recall, when Simon was with Fallon, it was stated that he and Fallon had bought the property that was on, when Fallon was on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, it was stated that they actually brought, bought that home just to be able to film for, for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I'll probably go and get that, get that information so I can do a video. But what I can say is Kenya raggedy ass is going to have a field day with this story because we know Kenya is going to return to the Real Housewives of Atlanta again with no damn storyline. 
her storyline is always to mess with other people. We don't ever know what's going on with Kenya. And I don't think we're going to know what's going on with her this year. Um, but with everything that's going on, I am wondering, did Portia Williams sign back on to the Real Housewives of Atlanta? Keep in mind, the information that we're finding out, we're just finding it out per se in the news, but this is inf stuff that had been happening with him already. So now that she's whisking back into the Real Housewives of Atlanta, it is odd that suddenly she wants to be on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So what is really going on? I think there is more to this story. Um, and I believe that more information is going to come out with regards to this man. As I stated to you guys before, the streets of Atlanta been saying he was a scammer. So this is not new information. But getting back to his green card, um, it is being stated that his green card, being that it was obtained illegally um that it could be that he would be denied his official green card because of the circumstances surrounding the original card um so i don't know what's going to happen with this guy and with this relationship but do you guys remember fallon um if so let's jump into fallon I'm just wondering if you guys remember Fallon and she did a, um, she met with a YouTuber, I can't remember his name, but she basically stated that Portia stole her man. Now, I always thought that was funny because you can't really steal a whole grown ass man. But what Fallon did state that they had bought that property just to film for Real Housewives of Atlanta. Then we saw Portia come to their house and then we saw fallon was gone obviously um and now that was portia's man and then portia didn't come back for the following season i know y'all remember that well listen i got some more information and i got to do some more research simon is reportedly or has reportedly allegedly been messing with portia for many years i don't know if you guys re recall but i'm gonna pull the receipts they have been stating that portia was messing with a married african years 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 ago um so it has been alleged that Portia and Simon were messing around the entire time. But also people do, especially in Atlanta, say that um, um, not only is Simon a scammer, um, that he wanted to get on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm not sure why. Maybe he think that that's a good um, advertisement for him to showcase whatever scamming ass business he's doing. But if you guys recall, Fallon stated when she was on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, that that was what they wanted to do was be a part of the show. And then, you know, Portia sucked that woman husband up and all of a sudden that was over. Now, some of the responsibility does lay in Fallon's hand because we do know that she got pregnant by Jalen, which was his assistant, which was pretty damn tacky, by the way. Um, but I'm going to continue to do more research because there is more information out there and I'm going to bring it here for you guys. Um, and those um, details is Portia was messing with a Mary African that was alleged years ago. Um, now, with regards to his green card, people, again, have stated that this man was a scammer. So we need to tie those strings together to get to the bottom of what is really going on here. Yep. So now we know who this guy really is um, and what he's into. I mean, to have been convicted of all of these different um, crimes was just something I was not aware of. So this was definitely shocking to me to actually receive this information today. But like I said, I'm going to do more information to find out, um, you know, some more um, specifics on this situation. Because again, people have been alleging that Portia was messing with the Mary African years ago. And I'm going to bring the receipts, y'all. Um, so let me know what you guys think think in the comments. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and make sure you enable the bell notification so you do not miss out on a video.